Okay, I get a fair amount of questions from users saying that their home PC either has a virus or it's running really slow, and they always ask if I can take a look at it. Now these are the simple steps that I use uh, when I look at a user's PC, and it fixes the issue about 80% of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. The first thing that I like to do is I like to go into Control Panel. So I go to Start, Control Panel, and I'm going to go to Programs and Features. I'm going to look for any programs in here uh, that I don't recognize or I recognize as being some kind of uh, spyware or uh, some kind of add-on. So you'll find the applications in here. This is going to require a little bit of knowledge on your part, uh, but once you find it, uh, you can just right-click on it and do an uninstall and uninstall the application. So once you've removed any application uh, that you don't recognize or you don't use any longer, uh, the next thing I like to do is go to start and in this run box here type in msconfig so msconfig go ahead and hit enter it will pull up this system configuration box uh, I like to go into startup and I like to look at the programs uh, that are in here um, now these are the programs that are automatically going to launch when you start your computer um, so this can slow your PC down a lot uh, when you first start it up. So really I don't need iTunes or QuickTime to automatically launch or even Office for that matter. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and just unselect these. I'm going to hit apply and OK. Now it's going to ask me uh, to restart. Uh, so if you can restart at this time, uh, go ahead. But at this point I don't need to. So I'm just going to do an exit with, uh, without restart. Okay, the next thing that I like to do is I like to run a program called Malwarebytes. So you can just search Malwarebytes in Google and you can come to the uh, link right here. I'll put this link down in the description as well. So just go ahead and click on this. We're going to download uh, this application. And we're just going to do the for home. And we're not going to do the free trial, but if you scroll down kind of to the bottom here, uh, you can find the free version, just hit the download. So now it's going to download the application for us. And once it's uh, downloaded, just go ahead and run the application. Just hit next, accept the agreement. Next, next, next. You can uh, create a desktop shortcut if you'd like. Go ahead and hit next and install. And go ahead and hit finish. You may get this popped up. Uh, we'll just turn it off. I, I'm okay, so now that uh, we got it downloaded, we're going to go to the, the dashboard. And we're going to check for updates. We're going to get the uh, most latest definitions uh, before we run our scan. Okay, so now we are updated. We can see that uh, our updates right here are current. We're going to go ahead and just hit scan now. Now this is going to take some time. Um, it could take half an hour. Uh, it could take over two hours. So we'll just go ahead and let this scan and this video will resume once it's finished. Okay, so uh, now our scan has finished, and you can see there was 188 identified uh, threats uh, that it found. You can just kind of scroll down through the list and, and take a look at them. Um, but what you can go ahead and do is just go ahead and hit Quarantine Selected. And this can take just a little bit of time as it's quarantining these threats. Okay, so the threats have now been quarantined. Uh, it's telling you that uh, your PC now needs to be restarted. So at this time, go ahead and restart your PC. Okay, so the computer has now restarted. Uh, the next thing I like to do is I like to run another program called SpyBot Search and Destroy. And this will trying to be like a uh, one-two punch uh, running two different uh, malware scanners to hopefully find anything that was on the system so you'll go ahead and click on the link and I'll put this again in the description below <clears throat> gonna go to home user and we're
we're going to click on the spy bot free and we'll download the free edition we're going to have to select it from one of the mirrors so just hit one of these here and uh, then you should see this link uh, right here download spybot search and destroy windows installer so go ahead and click that you should see it begin to download down here at the bottom and now we're just going to go ahead and install it select your language hit OK next um, just go ahead and for the donations if you'd like to make a donation to spybot you can here um, but for me I'm just going to leave it the top option go ahead and hit next and go ahead and hit next accept next and install and go ahead and hand hit finish here Okay, first thing you're going to want to do again is update it. Go ahead and hit update again up here. And this will take just a little bit as it's downloading the updated definitions. Okay, so our updates have uh, now finished. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin the system scan. Uh, to do that, just click on the system scan here. And then there's some options you can do before you start the scan, such as um, remove your temporary files. I go ahead and do that, just hit clean up. And now you can go ahead and hit start scan. and your scan will run. Now this will take uh, quite a bit of time, so I'll let this run and I will return once it has finished. Okay, so after quite a while, the scan finished. Now you can kind of scroll through and you can just kind of see uh, the threat level of everything that it found, if you want to. Uh, but anyway, once you've got to this point, go ahead and just hit Fix Selected. Okay, so once you've ran out, let's go ahead and uh, just do a restart on the PC again. And I will be back after the PC comes back up. Another thing I like to do is to check the startup folder. Sometimes applications um, can store um, an EXE in these startup folders, and even though you get rid of the virus, uh, once you restart your computer, it can run again. So to do that, you can just go to start and in your box right here, type in shell, colon, and you can do common, space, startup. This will show you the all users startup menu. Uh, in this case, it's blank, so that's good. There's nothing in here that's bad. Sometimes you might have an application in here it uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, um, but just kind of look at it and see if it looks like it's legitimate or not. And the other command you want to run is shell colon startup. And this is just the local user, the one that you're signed on right now as. And this is also empty. Uh, so those are both good. So that's another step you can do. I also like to empty out the prefetch folder. The prefetch folder basically stores information about applications uh, to help them launch faster. However, if you've had a virus on there, sometimes I've seen viruses actually store some information in this prefetch folder. Uh, but if you go to C and Windows, there is a folder in here called prefetch. Now I just go in here and I just highlight all of the information 
that's in here. You can leave this ready boost folder there though. Um, but once you've highlighted that, just do a delete and it will ask if you want to move it to the recycle bin. You just hit yes. Now eventually over time, this information will fill back into your prefetch folder. Uh, so your programs will again launch a little quicker uh, than before. But this is just a good step, I think, to get rid of anything that may be sitting on the system. You can also go in and just remove anything that's in the recycle bin. So you can just go into recycle bin and hit empty recycle bin. And we'll get out rid of all that information that we just uh, put in there. Okay, so we uh, have restarted and we are back up now. And this is the last thing we're going to do. We're going to download a program called C Cleaner. And I will again put the link in the description. So we'll just go download this application. We'll just use the free version here. Go ahead and download the application. Now we're just going to install the application. And now we'll go ahead and run it. This will go through and it will clean a variety of things including your registry and your temporary files. Uh, so what you'll go ahead and do is you'll just hit this analyze here and it's going to run through everything and find any inconsistencies that it finds um, that it can fix. So this right here uh, is mostly application um, and temporary files so we'll just go ahead and run the cleaner and we will permanently delete these files off of our system. And this will take a bit of time. Next thing you'll do is you'll go to the registry and we're going to check our registry for any issues so go ahead and after you've clicked the registry, click scan for issues. So now that it's found all the issues, we'll go ahead and hit fix selected issues. It's going to ask you if you want a backup copy of your registry. And yes, we do want to do that. So hit yes. It's then going to ask you where you want to save it. We'll just save it here on our desktop. You can give it whatever name you want that uh, is not important. Uh, but once you've done that, go ahead and hit the Fix All Selected Issues. And then it'll go through and fix these. It'll take just a few seconds here. And we can hit Close. Alright, so that concludes all of the steps that I typically do to fix uh, anybody's PC who they tell me either has uh, some sort of virus or is uh, running slowly. Uh, now I will mention that if you happen to have a virus, um, they're called crypto lockers uh, that encrypt your files and they're asking you to pay money uh, to unencrypt those. While these uh, programs can get rid of those uh, applications that have done that, um, it will not be able to get your files back um, because those are encrypted with a very strong password. Uh, but anyway, I hope the tutorial helps, hope it uh, cleans up your computer and wish you the best of luck. Thanks for watching.